David Menzies for Rebel News here in Mississauga, Ontario. And folks, I'm standing outside the Paramount Fine Foods Centre. This arena is home to the Mississauga Steelheads Hockey Club and the Raptors 905 basketball team. And the reason why I'm here is because Mohamed Fakih, the CEO of Paramount Fine Foods, well, he's in a whole heap of hot water right now regarding tweets he allegedly made that many are considering to be anti-Semitic. We don't want your money. Please don't bring us blood money, end quote. And another tweet read, we don't need your money. Our clients are respectful families from all backgrounds. We welcome everyone, but not the one that supports baby killers and governments that are starving innocent civilians, end quote. And so it is that we reached out to the arena. Uh, we wanted to ask them, well, uh, are they a little queasy about the fact that the naming rights uh, belong to Paramount Fine Foods, given the controversy that is raging right now? My question via email was this, quote, I'm currently doing a story regarding the inflammatory comments that were allegedly made in social media by Mohamed Fakih, the CEO of Paramount Fine Foods. Many are interpreting those comments to be anti-Semitic. Question, we are curious if there is any consideration by your facility to cancel the naming rights contract with Paramount Fine Foods if these allegations are proven true, end quote. And you know what folks, in the Department of Perverse Irony, Will you get a load of this nugget? Do you know that the address for this facility is 5500 Rose Cherry Place? Now, Rose Cherry, of course, is the dearly departed wife of uh, hockey legend Don Cherry. And it's relevant because as Mr. Fakie does the mainstream media rounds playing victim, he is bemoaning cancel culture. So there is something apparently the hashtag called Boycott Paramount. And the Boycott Paramount hashtag is to Boycott Paramount. It's just simply because I'm a Muslim owner. And as you know, I'm a philanthropist and a humanitarian. And I do weigh in when I see innocent civilians are being killed. I did weigh in after October 7. And I did, and I continue weighing in for what's happening in Gaza. So I did start a tweet saying... I am a liberal, and I think this crew has lost its way. That's where that tweet ended. So within the same week when I tweeted, we've already had many tweets about me being called Hamas caucus terrorist. I'm just giving you a catalog of the name I'm called. Yeah. Hamas caucus terrorist, Hezbollah, terrorist sympathizer, terrorist supporter, I fund terrorism. But it was Mr. Fakih himself back in 2019 that was on the cancel culture bandwagon when it came to Don Cherry. So isn't it odd, um, five years ago, he was all down with getting rid of this beloved Canadian icon, and suddenly he is now a victim and bemoaning cancel culture, at least when it comes to those people out there who are advocating a boycott of his restaurant chain. Now I haven't heard back from anyone at the Paramount Fine Food Center yet, folks, but if they choose to comment, I'm all ears. But when I went to their website, I couldn't help but notice that they have a fan code of conduct. And it reads in part the following, quote, the Paramount Fine Food Center is committed to creating a safe, comfortable, and enjoyable entertainment experience for all fans. Accordingly, we will not tolerate unsafe, abusive, unlawful, or offensive conduct in our venues. This conduct includes, without limitation, making abusive, sexist, racist, offensive, or obscene remarks or gestures, end quote. So isn't that interesting, folks? The Paramount Fine Food Center has this fan code of conduct if you say something racist or hateful, 
you're going to be ejected. You might even be banned from ever returning to this facility. And yet, if the remarks that are being attributed to Mohammed Faki are indeed true, and that he was indeed targeting the Jewish community, well, where is the code of conduct when it comes to that? Then again, when a corporation like Paramount pays big bucks to get those naming rights, maybe it's a different standard. Maybe that is more tolerable than some Yahoo in the stands yelling something hateful. So at the end of the day, to my Jewish friends out there, don't take it personally. It's just business after all. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, it seems to us that most of the mainstream media is ignoring this story. I wonder if we switch the identity politics around if it would be a different case. But regardless, that's why Avery and I have come right to Paramount's headquarters. We want to get the story for you. We want to tell you the other side of the story, but we need your help. Please, if you can, go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you're able to, kindly make a donation.